to, and part of the reason why I started the whole uh, BJ Murphy 360 concept was, you know, I realized that one passion I had uh, was in serving and inspiring other people to take action. And I was like, well, so how could I do that? And so I started playing with all these different ideas. And you, you have been somebody that uh, you would talk about leader. You know, did, you were somebody who's been a a natural leader, but it's been something you've done on purpose. You've been very intentional about from social media to business investments to uh, political risk to why you w would want to chair the North Carolina Energy Forum. I mean, you all those things have been intentional. So, you know, think about, you know, somebody who's watching us today, you know, who might be looking at leadership or business. I mean, what would you say to them to inspire them to take action? Yeah, I, I, I think no matter what it is that you're trying to do, wh whether you're trying to create the next boutique investment bank or if you're trying to run for mayor or mm -hmm. if you just want to be the, 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 the best ice cream salesman in, in town, what, whatever you're trying to do, it's critically important that you have a roadmap. Um, because if you don't have a roadmap in, in terms of where you want to be, um, there's no telling where you may wake up. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have a roadmap and you're not very clear about where you're trying to go and how you're going to get there, um, a lot of times you can get stuck very easily. And you know, BJ, you and I both know people that are that are that are, in, that are really living in pain. I mean, they're they're living in quite pain because they're stuck somewhere in life right now. Mm -hmm. um, they always knew they wanted to do something different, or they always knew they wanted that job, or they always wanted to. To start this particular company or they always wanted to run for that office right but but they're just stuck right now and one of the reasons why they get stuck is because they just never had a roadmap on how they're going to clearly get from where they are to where they want to be and, and so I always wanted to be very intentional about where I was going and um, if, 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 I, if I'm taking a trip to California I didn't want to get stuck in Chicago Right. And in order to do that, you know, I had to be very clear about where I was trying to head. So, so in, in think about where you've been in business the last couple of years. You started Wharton, Wharton Gladden and you had a mission. That's what you were doing. You were sort of growing it. In fact, I remember watching you. You had some, you've had interns each summer. You do some great things. And then the business took a little shift into investing in a, in a family owned cafeteria company. So how, how, do you, how do you explain how that shift actually fit into your long term goals? <laughs> That's a great point, um, and even more important why you have to have that roadmap. Um, you, you know, so last year, and, and well, actually, I'll, I'll go back two years ago. We had made a decision that we really wanted to expand more in Gladden, and as a part of that, I wanted to get out and start doing more recruitment and um, looking for more people who were wanting to get involved with our practice and learn what it is that we do and go out and help, help clients. And so we had put together a really nice growth plan and, 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 a, and a plan that we are still implementing, but implementing very more, much more slowly than we thought. Um, last year, we had the opportunity with the cafeteria to come along. Um, and it was an opportunity that we just could not pass. I mean, it was, you know, it, it was sort of bittersweet because it was such a great opportunity, but it came in the midst of us trying to implement this growth plan that I, that I just talked about. Right. Well, we ended up doing the deal with the cafeteria and it, it did sort of not necessarily through us all, but obviously for the last six or eight months or so, we've been trying to digest that opportunity before we go back to trying to grow the company again. Now, it, this comes back to what I said earlier, the reason why you definitely need a roadmap. Um, if you and I t decide to take a trip to California, that particular trip might not be a straight line. Mm -hmm. We might run into some detours. We might decide to, 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 to jump off the highway for a little while and get a bite to eat. There's all different types of things that may happen when you're on that trip, but as long as you have that roadmap and you're always clear about where you're trying to go, you can always get around those detours and get right back on course. Right. And, and that's exactly what we're doing with Morton Gladden. Um, we've always remained very clear about where we're trying to go, but that doesn't mean as opportunities and um, um, new, new opportunities come to us along the way, it doesn't mean we can't take advantage of them but we always want to remain focused on where we're trying to get to. But, but in order to do that, you have to be clear about where you're going. So